Hey everyone, the project we're going to be working on now is some vinyl wood looking, simulated wood looking vinyl uh, planks. I got uh, 800 square feet here I'm going to try to put out. Okay, I've started over here in the left corner and uh, got the first one started. I had a baseboard heater that I had to take loose and lift up to get it up under it. You just keep it straight and then the piece you cut off the other end, you start at this end again. And this is pretty easy. You just put the uh, groove up against the uh, baseboard and then slip the other one in it and snap it under this little one here. You can tell here my floor is out of date. Looks like the 70s. And you need something to cut it with. You need something to mark it and square it with. Uh, you can, if you got a roller and a, and a knife to cut it with, helps out. And then, uh, it's cold here, so we've, I've got it in, bringing it inside to get it up to 65 degrees. Okay, we've got, a, got another run. Here's where I started the piece from the other side, and you run it all the way down and then cut it down there with a square and mark it with a pencil. I'm just cutting it with some uh, shears. Seems like it's better than with that knife. And uh, got a little hammer there to kind of line it up. Uh, it says in the instructions to put shims up next to the wall. I got a little crack there that it kind of shift up in. But in the past when I've put this down, I just put a tiny a uh, tiny nail tack that's the color of the wood. That way it won't move at all. You don't have to have many, you just one about over four feet or wherever it needs it. Okay, we're progressing a little bit more down. Fix a threshold here as soon as I get to it. I'm using a two before. That's what I've always used to knock it all the cracks out. Not part of the way it says in the instructions, but it's like everything you learn kind of your own way of doing after you're doing it. It says you use a roller here, but I'm just hitting it with a two before. backwards. Get some arrows on the back. And then you turn it the opposite way. Put it up against the wall. Get it square. Get your square. And cut it about and mark it about at least a sixteenth smaller. 
so it'll fit in there good. Probably better ways to cut this, but I'd have to go buy something. This works okay. Kind of make a blister on your hand after a while. I guess I could go get a glove. down to the other end to start the next round. Just like that. All right, I'm filming this in six minute segments and so I'm gonna have different parts. So subscribe and you can see all of them together. And uh, make sure to hit like and subscribe and this will be part one. And part two will come up and I'll make the, uh, I'll fix around the door and then we'll finish the floor on out. So come back to see part two. Thanks for watching.